hi team lily welcome back to another video first i want to apologize for the delay okay i spent half of my day in traffic in quill it's as if the whole ghana is here so many people are here and i think this is why so many vehicles are here the president is here the former president is here and there are other um government officials in fact all the political leaders are here I think there is a political campaign going on for the both for the two parties in Ghana. And <laughs> so this is why this video is delaying. All right. So, but finally we are here. So to make it up for the delay, I'm going to put all the videos that I made here today in this video. Let's watch everything once and for all and wait for a, a new video tomorrow. So first we are starting with the police exhibition nets like i have a video of this kind last year the police are pushing hard to gain the the trust of the public you don't have to be afraid of the police they are your friend and that is what they want us to believe and they are doing that uh so well so i stopped by their nets i mean their tent to see what the gods knew all right so after checking them out we are going to grab breakfast and then after that we are going to the mountain of at cba for the parachute all right i just want to take you guys through the whole process first let's grab um something to eat and then after that i was contemplating if i should go to rock city first but whichever is coming in this video so first let's grab food this is the busiest streets in Kwewu, and why it's looking like this is because a lot of people are stuck in traffic <laughs> but this is the busiest around here and also due to the time of the day so let's check out uh, vitamin c vitamin b bar <laughs> and try ebunebunu uh, soup for the first time this is ebunebunu and it's my first time trying this and it's not bad at all but i wish i just respect myself to just stick to my ghana fufu and light soup anyways we learn every day but it wasn't a bad experience entirely so my friend and i my colleague turned celebrities on here at the mountain they spotted us and they invited us for interview they said we look different all right of course look at my hair <laughs> So your girl is now a celebrity. When you see me next time, add celeb to my name. So we're done with that. Let's go straight to the parachutes area and see how busy it is this year, who and who made it here and what is going on this year. Seriously, I wish that this road is done, but even when it, as it's not done, I also wish I could see it like this because it's so beautiful the red head and the green uh glasses i mean grasses they all come together and look so beautiful so welcome to 2024 parachutes paragrading uh site in Kweu. this is the peak of the mountain high 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 up there that's where we are you can see so many people one thing i'm trying to understand is i mean i'm trying to see if i'm i want to confirm rather one thing I, I'm, I'm trying to confirm is to see if it's like the numbers the number of people this year are a lot more than last year yeah even more than two years ago when i first go, um got to know about this place so so many people are here today and some of them as you can see they are not even from ghana some people flew in all the way to come to have this experience because this is something that happens once in a year here in ghana and this view you're looking at here is the incredible view of Nkoko all the way from the right from the mountain of at atba on top of the Kweu mountain Kweu is just so amazing seriously to blow your mind away there are many sides to it now let's take a look i had wanted to leave you guys to the original sound but due to copyright let's do it like this let me leave you to some music while i come back to you when we are done and i'll take you guys straight to rock city hotel to go see what is new there so this year i am thinking that there are more people this year than before 
and even me coming here this is my fourth time coming here um gradually um my fear for height is i think i i, I don't feel that much fear like i used to feel so i think people come here to train themselves you know against fear of height and all that but this is not for me to do okay thank you very much i want you to watch other people do it i watch it you watch it case close all right so keep watching guys um i'll see you guys later all right don't go nowhere rock city is coming and i do not want you to miss any any clip in this video love you keep watching and don't forget to subscribe and of course kindly like the video thank you all right you're welcome i have taken you guys through this let's go down to Nkwetia and see where the biggest hotel in africa is located i hope you have liked this video as a sign of thank you let's go rock city rock city baby rock city baby <laughs> what is new tell me more so we are going to observe everywhere and see what is new because the other times yeah times all right i've been here one two three this is my fourth time of coming to the same hotel and i am not tired you know what that means i am the type that gets easily bored with something but not this hotel i'm, I'm obsessed with Kwewu generally um so let's see what we what is new the last time i came the last times i came there were construction going on <laughs> There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night As that day goes by You seem like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness turns to light All the troubles fade away to nothing And it tells me everything's gonna be okay There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night as the day goes by Seeming like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness turns to light All the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oh, bana mi shenu bala ke dada o de Through the night, as the day goes by, you 
seem like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness turns to light All the troubles fade away to nothing And it tells me everything's gonna be okay Oh, bana mi shen, oh, bala ke da da o den den There are many times you feel not alright Tossing and turning through the night As the day goes by Seeming like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness turns to light All the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oh, bana mi shen, oh, bala ke da da o den den What I can say is that what I can tell you is that there's more construction going on. Yeah, I see those engineers; they are still here, so it means it's going to go on for a very long time. But I could see that some of the buildings are almost completed. Yeah, the ones that were not here the last times that I visited. So yeah, Rock City does not disappoint. Rock City brings you happiness. Looking at the environment alone and looking at people just doing their things and everyone minding he or her business just makes you feel so amazing. And the weather too, the weather is incredible. So beautiful on the skin and I love it. <laughs> you are welcome. So um, this hotel will excite you, trust me. People come here, take pictures. Nobody asks you, oh, where do you work? Who is your father? This place, is, this place welcomes everyone. Okay, just be good. And that's all. You film, you do your videos, you take your pictures. Nobody complains. Except, of course, you want to fly. You want to fly a drone. Please ensure you take permission when you want to do that. Okay? So that is that. By the time they are done with the Rock City, <laughs> I don't know what to name it. Maybe the biggest hotel in the world. I don't know. Comment down below for those of you that do not live in Africa. Have you seen any hotel bigger than this one? Because it's quite big. Seriously, massive. It's big. Big, 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 big. So big that I have never been able to go around the whole hotel premises because it's big it's like an estate all right and everything here from the flower the, the floor everything here is so well done tastefully done honestly honestly i'm proud of this hotel now i think i have done a good job it's time for me to go and i'm stopping by obooming to pick up my dinner because since i came i have been struggling with food you find something it doesn't taste right you find something it's just you know at the end of the day so yesterday what happened is um i discovered a place at obooming they called the place um Kweuba. There's this particular um, restaurant or fast food. Yeah, this food joint is in front of Kweuba at Obuming. This is for you guys that are still on the mountain and you're looking for a way to eat good food. These guys are doing amazing. So I decided to interview them. I invited them for this interview because this is a sign of saying, well done. Thank you for doing, for giving me good meal. Uh, the food is not that expensive all right and but it's very nice the food is is amazing the customer service is on points and they're a group of young Ghanaian guys doing this for themselves so i would love you to support them apart from supporting them i want you to patronize them because the food is good okay 
eat this food and tell me lily thank you for a good meal just tell me that that's all that's my medicine all right yeah, let's nice hear from them kitchen. we do pizza and oh, wow. shawarma as all assorted food we do it some year and our plan is different from like let's say our fried rice is different from other fried rice. other fried rice and our shawarma our pizza is different from other pizza yeah we have a branch somewhere else. Yeah, we, apart from here, we have another branch at. Okay. Okay. Apart from here, we have another branch at ECG in Price to ECG. Yeah, that place we do locals and the same, both, both locals and continental food. Too. Um, has anyone been telling you guys that your food is good? Your food is good. Yeah, we have a lot of recommendation. How, People. How does it make you feel? <laughs> oh, we feel good. You know, sometimes it's good to your clients to tell you your feedback. We ask for our, our what, what we are doing, we like the feedback more than what That's we right. get. So it's good that your clients will tell you your, your, this thing. It encourages us more to do, to work extra what we are doing. You guys own here? Yeah. No, we don't have any boss. So God is our boss. Is the owner then? He said? Who is the owner? Yeah, me. Oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yes. The location is Kou Obome Kouba Was Jansen. Kou Obome Was Jansen. We want to tell everybody in Kou and Koko every place is that we have a special thing for everyone here. Kou people's rewards are special. Lazy's Kitchen is the best. Lazy's Kitchen is sweet. God bless you, everyone. Something to say. And moreover, when it comes to Ko, anytime you feel to come to Ko, wherever where you are, Accra, Kumase, Takrade, anywhere, when it comes to Ko, it's good to visit our place, Lady's Kitchen. We are at Obomi Ko, Obomi Ko, Junction. Yes, yeah, Obomi Ko, Junction, Koba. The location is Koba. When you reach there, you see her. Uh, yeah. This, Ko, this is Lady's Kitchen. We have a lot of food. Yeah, so if you like some, you can come here. GTA, so you double B Y. There are many times you feel not right, tossing and turning through the night. As that day goes by, you seem like you're searching in the dark. But when the darkness turns to light, all the troubles fade away to nothing And it tells me everything's gonna be okay There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night As the day goes by Seeming like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness turns to light all the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, Everything's gonna be alright oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, Hold on.